soldiers, welcome back to Simon of Fortune, uh, where today I'm going to be answering your questions uh, that you've asked me in celebration of us reaching uh, 200 subscribers. So thank you very much once again for that, and uh, I guess we'll just get right into the questions. Well, no we won't, because you're probably wondering why I'm wearing uh, my OCPs after I said I wouldn't wear them in a video. And, uh, going back into the army. Uh, uh, this Sunday I'm going to processing. Uh, I don't have a ship date yet, but uh, I got laid off from my job uh, this month. And, uh, you know, my wife, she knows that it's something that has been kind of unfinished business for me for a while and I just gotta get back in the saddle and make go of it. So obviously this will affect uploads. I can't upload videos while I'm at basic training. But once I'm at my duty station and everything, I am going to try to upload. So thank you very much for all of your support. And I ask that you just be patient with me. I'm gonna try to get a couple more videos out before I ship, but it's just something to keep in mind. Thank you very much for all of your support. And this isn't the end of Simon of Fortune. Just gotta take a break and everything. So thank you very much, soldiers. Let's get right into the question. Okay, so first question we have from Midnight Moon two two six seven. It's uh, Eric in my Discord server. What's my favorite helmet and uniform in my collection? Well, uh, as you've seen in my last video, my favorite uniform in my collection is my. A replica of my grandpa's uniform. Well, the original is my favorite, but the one I can actually wear is the replica of that, the Ike jacket, trousers, and the whole MP gear. That's my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite uniform in my collection. Uh, my favorite helmet? Uh, I don't know. It kind of depends. Uh, right now, my favorite is, I would probably say, my front seam that I restored. Uh, but I think I'll have a new favorite coming up soon, hopefully before I ship off, and, uh, yeah. Right now my favorite is that World War II front scene that I restored, uh, last summer. Military Boy 1983, do you have plans for a Vietnam War impression? Well, I kind of already do have one. I have a, uh... Well, not much. I have a, I have an M65 field jacket and a Vietnam helmet, uh, but I don't really have any Vietnam clothing outside of that. I would like to put something together, but just uh, right now, Vietnam reproductions are kind of scarce, especially for, you know, bigger gentlemen like myself. Not bigger, but I mean, I'm, I'm pretty tall and uh, it's just hard to find things that fit me. What is my favorite MRE? Uh, well, it's been a while since I've had an MRE, but I think a lot of people sleep on the maple sausage patty. I know it's a breakfast one and people don't. A lot of people don't really like it, but I think it's, it's delicious. The sausage patty is good. The blueberry granola that comes with it, you put the coffee creamer in there and mix it up, it's, that's breakfast right there. And uh, I think it comes with a, I think it's a banana muffin top, which is okay. I'm, I'm not big on banana. But the maple sausage patty, MRE, is probably my favorite, and Chili Mac, a lot of people, you know, that's a lot of people's favorite, but I think the sleeper hit is definitely the, uh, the maple sausage patty. Uh, this one's translated, so if it's iffy, sorry. Kevin Mercerlcina 9990. Sorry if I butchered that. Uh, no questions, just congratulations for the good material and ask you to upload more often. Hug from Argentina. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you like my videos. And, uh, you know, I'm glad I'm reaching other people outside of the U.S. It's, uh, it, it just kind of extra special that it's, uh, I'm not just U.S. I know a lot of, uh, people have interest in World War II outside of the U.S. and Europe and just those involved. 
So uh, thank you for the support. Upload more often. Well, sorry. Uh, the reason my uploads have been so spotty, uh, I mean, every other week is what I try to do, is, um, you know, that gives me time to live life. I, uh, I mean, I, I very much enjoy doing the YouTube videos, but, I mean, I don't have a super high budget to continue to buy things and show them off and, you know, do restorations. Like, you know, I'll spoil it. I'm doing an M2 helmet restoration and uh, I stripped the paint and took the bales off back in December and I haven't done anything on it since then just because I haven't really had the money and I haven't had a whole lot of time. Uh, just, you know, life, especially with, you know, me losing my job and going back in the army, that's taken a significant portion of my time away from me. So I, between that and trying to make videos, uh, you know, I don't have a whole bunch of time to you know, live life, and you know, I'm I'm a married man. I love my wife. I have a family. I have in-laws. I have friends. I have people I need to see in my daily life. And you know, especially now that I'm going back to the army, you know, I'm going to need to get as much time with them as I can. So I'm sorry if I don't upload enough, but you know, I. I, YouTube is in my life. I, it's a hobby, and you know that I have more important things to take care of. So I'm I'm sorry I don't upload more often, but you know it's just kind of how it is. But thank you for the uh, thank you for the uh, support there. I'm glad you're interested. I'm just sorry I can't really give you too much more. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Beach Kai says, can you dap me up? Uh, what got me into military collecting stuff? Once again, from Midnight Moon 2267. Thank you, Eric. And thank you, Kai, for that last question. Uh, good friend of mine. Uh, Eric asks, what got you into collecting military stuff? Uh, my grandfather, honestly. Both of them uh, are veterans on my mom and my dad's side. Uh, only recently I just got into researching uh, my grandpa on my mom's side. He was in the Navy during Korea from 51 to 54. And uh, I'm starting to put together a uniform for him. I don't know if I'm going to have that done by the time I shit. But uh, I'm just doing a dress, um, Navy dress jumper uniform, pretty simple. But uh, my grandpa... Uh, my grandpa Brown, uh, he passed away in 2019, and, uh, you know, I used to just love listening to his war stories, him, uh, getting into all kinds of trouble, and, uh, beating up drunk privates because he was an MP, but, um, yeah, my, just, my grandfather's, uh, listening to their stories, and I inherited my grandpa's my grandpa Brown's uniform, as you know. And uh, after that, I just wanted to, I only got the jacket for it, his Ike jacket. And I wanted to get the shirt and the pants. I wanted to put the whole thing together. And uh, I ended up doing that, and then I put one together for myself. Oh, jeez. So yeah, my, uh, my wife has my, uh, grandparents to thank for how much money I've saved in my collection. <laughs> On my Korean uh, War uh, M1 helmet restoration, someone asked, it's just about the video, what do you use to put the badge? I think he's just referring to the major insignia on the front. I used epoxy, just five minute epoxy, you can get the dollar store, just squirt it out on a plate, mix it up, and spread it on there. And I will be replying to him. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that right now. Uh, Sammy Holiday says, uh, more videos about M1 helmets, please. Uh, I'm working on it. Like I said, uh, I'm working on an M2 helmet. Uh, but I just, you know, progress has stalled. I'm hoping to get buy myself a spot welder uh, here soon so I can get the bales on that and get it painted up. I probably won't be able to get the liner uh, ready for that. But before I ship, since, I mean, from Jay Murray, and I really want to do a Jay Murray kit, but his stuff, it's not cheap. It's $65 for a airborne liner kit. 
but uh, you know, once I'm at my duty sh station and everything, uh, hoping I get that stuff going, maybe I'll do a restoration on my issued ACH. Uh, Michael Ben Michael Ben Mitchell one, uh, he's on my Discord as well. He said, Simon, you might as well paint your truck to match your truck bed. Uh, maybe I will. It's a junker. That's why I paint in the back of my truck. I, I bought it for $200. And uh, I don't have anywhere else to really paint. And I'll probably be the last... Uh, probably be the last one to own that truck. So uh, I might do something frivolous like paint my truck all of drab. Probably not. But, you know, I don't give me too many ideas now. Okay, well, I guess that's all the questions I have uh, that I haven't really answered. Uh, thank you very much for 200 subscribers once again. Uh, thank you for all the support you've given me. And I'm looking forward to continuing to make videos for you uh, in spite of, you know, a service commitment. But... You know, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, making more videos. I know I'm just repeating myself, but I don't, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, join our Discord, link in the description below. And, uh, you know, just thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your night. And I will see you in the next video. And then after the next couple of videos, you'll probably see me actually in the army. So thank you once again, everybody, so much. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your night. And 